In the previous two videos, you have studied root, stem and their modification. Today, I will tell you about another important plant organ that is the leaf. Tell me, in a drawing if you color a leaf, what color you will choose? Of course, green. And can you tell me why is green color always chosen? This is because leaves are green as they have chlorophyll in them. To know more about leaf, let's observe specimen of leaf. This is a hibiscus leaf. It has a stalk or petiole. Some leaves do not have petiole. The point or position where leaf is attached to stem is leaf base. Can you see two small green leaf-like structures at base? These are the stipules. Stipules may or may not be present. Petiole of a leaf connects with lamina. Lamina is flat, green, expanded part of a leaf. It is also called the leaf blade. The edge of lamina is called the margin. The tip of the leaf is called the apex. Observe plants around you. They occur in a variety of shapes and sizes. Mango, tamarind, papaya, oak, banana, people, fan palm. Why are leaves produced by plants? What would be their role? Leaves produce food by the process of photosynthesis. There are minute pores on the leaf. Carbon dioxide and oxygen are exchanged through them. These pores are called stomata. Pores on leaves also lose water vapor. Students, you have seen variety of leaf shapes. Now observe some other examples. Mango, hibiscus, people, rose, curry leaves, tamarind. Observe these pictures carefully. What can you tell about their leaves? Okay, I will tell you about it. In mango, hibiscus and people trees, you will see that leaf blade or lamina is single continuous surface. It is uncut lamina and there is a single midrib. All these are simple leaves. In other pictures of rose, curry leaves and tamarind, you will see many small leaves. These small leaves are called leaflets, which are formed as leaf blade is divided into small parts. These are compound leaves. Thus, there are two types of leaves as simple and compound. Now I am going to show some more pictures of leaves and I will tell you their names. Hibiscus, Mango, Calotropis, Jasmine, Nerium. Observe these images carefully and focus on nodes of these plants. How many leaves are produced at each node in these plants? In Hibiscus and Mango, there is a single leaf produced at each node. On the other hand, in Calotropis and Jasmine, you will see two leaves at each node. Whereas, more than two leaves are present at each node in Nerium. And these leaves are present in a circle around the stem. So it means that the arrangement of leaves on the stem is different. This is called phyllotaxy. Mango and hibiscus show alternate phyllotaxy. There is opposite phyllotaxy in jasmine and calotropis. And when there are more than two leaves at each node, it is called world phyllotaxy. Students, you may form a small group of three to four people and visit a garden nearby. If there are a variety of plants growing in your school, it will be a good place to visit for our next study. Collect one leaf of each of the following plants, people, mango, hibiscus, grass, maize, kana. Now study each leaf carefully. Hold the leaf against sunlight. Can you see many lines, veins on lamina? Observe their pattern. Could you see a large prominent vein in the center? It is midrib. Now see how is the arrangement of other veins. In mango, people, hibiscus, there is a midrib that has many branches. All these veins form a network or reticulum. This is called reticulate venation. How are veins arranged in grass, kana and maize? Here veins run parallel to each other. This is called parallel venation. So today you have studied a lot about leaf. Now we will revise all the new concept quickly. Summary. Parts of leaf. Leaf base, petiole, stipules, lamina or leaf blade. Functions of leaf. To produce food by photosynthesis, exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen, loss of water through water vapor. Types of leaves. 
First is simple leaf in which lamina is single continuous surface, example mango, bunion, people. Second one is compound leaf in which lamina is divided into leaflets, example tamarind, rose, curry leaves. Arrangement of leaves on stem, phyllotoxy. Alternate, one leaf at each node, example hibiscus, mango. Opposite, two leaves at each node, example jasmine, calotropis. World, more than two leaves at each node, example nerium. Types of venation. Reticulate venation in which network veins in leaf, example hibiscus, people. Second is parallel venation, veins run parallel to each other, example grass, canna, maize. To have a better understanding of the concepts studied today, I will assign a simple activity to you. Observe any five plants from your surrounding and prepare a record with the help of following points. One, name of the plant. Two, Simple or compound leaves, 3. Types of phyllotaxy, 4. Types of venation.